Eating better is easier with Koo produce. Homegrown from R plus to your plate. Koo uzotkoala. Fresh produce grown right here in Mzanzi. Ay, we got you. Packed and packed at its prime from R plus to your plate. Making eating better as easy as adding color to your plate. With Koo's range of vegetables and fruit. Uzotkoala. Get Koo. As we said to make eating better, easier. Color your plate with Koo. I'm Sivisa Pepper. I'm from Midran, Johannesburg. I am a business management graduate. At the moment, I cook for small businesses and events. I'm also a mom. I'm Sivangile Mokukeng from Everton West in the Val. I'm a student. Zinala Ngandi Firichidzis Badari. I'm from Port Elizabeth and I'm a law student at the University of South Africa. I'm Tulisa Maila from Lower Crossroads in Philippi. I am a professional chef. I am Andy Sondovo, a private chef based in Pulukwani. I specialize in fine dining, private functions and catering as a well. whole. Five potential cooking stars, but only one of you will make it through to the next round. Are you excited to be here? Yes! You'll each have one hour to create your best split using this week's year ingredients. And if you make it through today's cooking challenge, you will be able to compete for your share of 500,000 Rand in cash and prizes. Wow! Yeah. <laughs> this week we are focusing on something that forms a core part of the traditional South African diet. They are low in fat, high in dietary fiber, and extremely versatile. We are talking about cool beans and legumes. Mm, nice. Now we all know samp and beans are such a classic combination, but there's so much more to choose from. There's chickpeas, kidney beans, butter beans, black beans, and they're all great vehicles for flavor, and you can use it in so many creative ways. We're still looking for that colorful, balanced plate, and to help us taste your creations, let's meet this week's guest judge, a familiar face on Color Your Plate with Koo. It feels good to be back. This isn't who. Nutrition to me is super important. You know, nutrition keeps us strong, keeps us healthy, keeps us moving. Without nutrition, babes. <laughs> R.I.P. darling. So what I do to keep my balance of the health and the nutrition and making sure that I get everything done is basically simple. Seven colors. Every color of a nutrient. And that's how I maintain my nutrition. This time around, I want your personality to shine through your dish. Last time, it was more about the taste, how the dish looked. Nah, I'm, not, I'm done with that. It's personality, what you're bringing to the table, you know. Show me something, show me that you want this thing, okay? Hi, <laughs> it's so good to be back. I hope you guys are ready. I'm looking for nothing but personality, darling. <laughs> good luck. We want you guys to really challenge yourself today. We want to see creativity. I've created a five-a-day inspiration using beans and legumes in a creative way. Mm -hmm. I've made my version of a classic French cassoulet. So in there is beans, combination of a chorizo sausage. There's some smoked chicken in there. We've braised that with some celery, onions and garlic, and lots of aromatics, herbs. We've baked it in the oven. It's got a top of breadcrumbs and some fresh herbs as well. Come closer and have a taste. Wow, this is culinary creativity. I'm very inspired. Cassoulet is a French braise, and they traditionally use duck leg confit. So it's the duck leg that's sort of cooked in its own fat, salted, and then it also gets a sausage in there. I'm getting a smoky taste. I can feel the herbs, the spices, everything is just delicious. And the beans carry the flavor so well. So are you guys now all feeling inspired? Definitely, yes. 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 Well, in that case, let's cook. Yes. 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 I love working with legumes. Um, they're very versatile. They absorb flavor very well. Contestants, you'll have one hour to create a colorful and well-balanced plate using beans and legumes. This fully stocked pantry will be available to you throughout the hour. It's stocked with all the ingredients you might need as well as a range of cool products. Are you ready to cook? Yes! Right, start your personality. Good luck. Three, 
two, one. Hello, your plates. I started cooking at a very young age. I'm a very passionate foodie. I'm a natural in the kitchen. Today, I'm cooking honey mustard chicken on a bed of spinach, mushrooms, cherry tomatoes, and butter beans. I'm also going to make a pesto to drizzle over my chicken and bean mix. My love for food came from watching different shows about food. I think food is part of who I am. I'm making chicken kebabs, spicy couscous, and a bean salad. My love for food comes from my grandmother that was a chef as well, so I learned cooking from her. My meal for the day will be chickpeas and butter beans hummus, served with lamb chops and topped with red kidney bean and corn salad with chimichurri on top and feta cheese around and garnished with parsley. My love for food comes back from home. My uncle used to cook very delicious food. Today, I'm going to make red kidney beans fried rice. I'm going to make butter beans curry. And I'm also going to make four bean salad. And I'm going to dress it with red wine vinegar, olive oil, lime zest, and juice. Growing up, my mother used to make me cook a lot. I didn't really enjoy it at first, but once I started really cooking and watching shows on TV about cooking, my love for food grew. Today I am making spinach, feta and hummus stuffed chicken breast wrapped in bacon on a bed of legume pate with sautéed vegetables and a white wine reduction. So beans guys, what do you think, what's, what's your favourite? Big beans, oh. traditional, take me back to the hood. I quite like, you know, like butter beans, you know, chickpeas. I just love the texture they have. Guys, you don't like baked beans? Like, where are we? Baked. But, but we took it to the next level now. No, you know? guys, you must go back to the roots where you come from. Hi, guys, please come on. Maybe because we're on color your plate, you must come back to the basics, okay? Please. <laughs> Stand a chance to win a seat at the finale table and on the judging panel. To enter, cook up a nutritious meal using Ku's weekly hero ingredient. Head to Ku's social media channels and post your photo, the meal description and hashtag color your plate with Koo in the comments. Enter now, T's and C's apply. A Koo baked bean isn't just soma any point ginger. It's a great source of protein made with the original secret sauce and only that thing. Homegrown from our plus to your plate. Color your plate with Koo. For overall improved well-being, put that special something into any meal with Koo beetroot. Picked and packed at its prime from our plus to your plate. Color your plate with Koo. So, Mangeli, it's your second time. Yeah. You're like me. What's different about this time? I'm bringing my A game. I did a lot of research yeah. from the time I was here, so I think I've grown. Do you feel like you have your dish figured out? I'm not really comfortable, but I can make it work. Yeah, that, that's the I spirit like. that you need to keep. Make it work, and I hope it's going to be really nice. Which is it? I see you have the ku butter beans as well as the butter beans in tangy curry sauce. Yeah. Are you going to combine all those into the dish that you're making? I'm actually going to choose one that I'm going to make because I'm oh, going to Oh, you just put them oh, here in yeah. case. Yes. You are pika pika, basically. <laughs> as long as you get the hero ingredients into the dishes that you're making, we'll all be happy. What's a she? We are she, we are she, sis, we are she, Sane. Your pot is burning, my sister. No, don't worry, I'm here. Contestants, time is flying. You've got 30 more minutes to go. Only 30 more minutes. Come on. Please, guys, come on. My cauliflower is not the texture I have imagined, so this is a big problem for me. What are you going for? Sweet, no. spicy, what are you going? You know, your homie gogo -go meal. That vibe. Yeah, something that, very hearty. Yes. Yeah. Made with a lot of love. Yes. Okay. That's where I am. You know going. you're putting the pressure. The pressure is getting worse up. It you. has to be. Okay. Yeah. The pressure's on. She accepted the pressure. Yes. Right. And uh, you'll be tasting red king beans for the first time. For the first time. 
Tuli, Tuli, Tuli. Hi, Lassie. Hi, Lassie. It doesn't look like you've fried anything. What have you cooked? Jonga, Lassie. 23 minutes. I'm almost done. My lamb chops is here. My hummus done. Salad, I'm done. So it's just clearing up. Try plating. I'm done. So okay. you're going to bring the personality? Jonga, the personality is all over. Mm. Do you think you're going to win this competition? Obviously. 100%. I cut into my chicken and I found out it's still raw. Luckily, I have enough time to put it back in the oven. 20 minutes to go, contestants. Time's running out fast. Time to work faster. Okay, so less than 20 minutes to go and she only started the chicken now. Hey, raw chicken, it's not like beef, eh? Yeah, and it's chicken on the bone, so it's gonna take a little bit longer. Ish. I think get that in the oven. It will cook quicker. Make sure your temperature is nice and high. See? Yes. You're already plating. This is my shesh. We are shesh. I'm so what do you like still that. have left? Just I'm to... left to cut the chicken because oh, it's the resting chicken. for now. Oh, it's resting. And then still have more time to even clean your station and relax. <laughs> wow, I'm impressed. I'm getting a bit worried here. Eh? Don't be sure. It will okay. be fine. I am worried. My chicken is not done. Ruben is on my case. I am under pressure. I am very stressed. Hey! I'm okay. Oh, I like my chicken is not cooking fast enough in the oven. I'm taking it out and cut it in the middle, put it back again. I hope it cooks faster. So we have two contestants. The chicken went into the oven quite late. You can't even taste raw chicken. I mean, we're looking at the time now. It's down to the wire now. I don't want to have raw chicken. We're not going to touch it. Absolutely not. Five minutes to go, guys. Come on, guys. The pressure is getting worse. <sighs> I have five minutes left, and my chicken is still not cooked. I'm cutting into my chicken, and bits of it are raw. I'm just going to serve the parts that are cooked. One minute to go, guys. One minute, come on. Yo, that chicken doesn't have that thing. Guys, the last 30 seconds. Oh my god. The chicken be better out of the oven. Plate, 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 plate. 10, Ten nine, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one. Step away from your plate. Uh, well done. Thank you. You blink and the hour is gone. It looks colorful and tasty. Ah, I'm not happy. <laughs> I got everything else in time but the chicken. Oh, I don't know. I'm happy with my plate, happy with my plating. The only thing that is making a bit nervous as the chili on my sauce. I think I pushed through, so I'm just hoping that now it's all down to taste. I'm not feeling too well, like not 100%. I couldn't make everything that I initially planned I could do. That was stressful. Are you ready to taste some chicken? I'm ready to taste some cooked chicken. <laughs> Stand a chance to win a seat at the finale table and on the judging panel. To enter, cook up a nutritious meal using Ku's weekly hero ingredient. Head to Ku's social media channels and post your photo, the meal description, and hashtag color your plate with Ku in the comments. Enter now. T's and C's apply. Ku's sweet corn isn't marnet mili sinje, but a delicious source of fiber. Picked and packed at its prime from our plus to your plate. Color your plate with Ku. Shaima combo fast fast. Ku mix veg seasoned and tasty combinations nje. Picked and packed at its prime from our plus to your plate. Color your plate with Ku. Well, guys, certainly lots of options for contestants to work with, you know, leggings and beans. We were looking for that colorful, balanced place. Do you think they brought it today? You know, we wanted them to make something creative. Some of them, I think, used a lot of the ingredients. Did they use it creatively, though? Let's taste and see. I'm confident about my dish, but I'm nervous. Did I do enough? So, Opeg and Don. Honey mustard chicken on a bed of spinach, sautéed beans and mushrooms. I think I've done my best and I'm going to win this. It looks, I don't know if you know, color blocking. You know when you mix a green skinny jean mm. and a red top mm. and then you say brown shoes. 
But I must say that if that is the case, then she's nailed the brief because we're looking for that colorful balance plate. And I think what we have in front of us is really that. You know what this reminds me of? You see that uncle when you look at him on Instagram, he looks ugly. Mm. But when you see him in real life, you're like, how? Oh, you're so pretty. Flavor-wise. Flavor-wise, it's there. Mm. I'm quite surprised by this dish. I wouldn't say elevating sort of the beans and the legumes, mm. but yeah, not a bad attempt. I think, I think we've we're... tasted enough. Let's taste the next one. I'm positive about the hero ingredient. I hope that that saves me. The chicken, it's done. It's history. I don't want to talk about the chicken. Will you take us through the whole dish, please? I have butter beans on fire grilled tomatoes and I also have my fried rice with red kidney beans and I have four bean salad. And then the chicken, <laughs> the problem child. I did my best with all the challenges that I encountered and I hope I will win. I like her plating. I'm just worried about the chicken. Some of it is cooked but you can see it's quite pink as you get closer to the bone and there you can see that's, that's just not cooked. That's quite disappointing. Yeah, it's that's, disappointing. That's so, so we're not gonna try that, but we'll try all the rest on the plate. It's lacking flavor. I mean, the rice, I mean, there's many components that went in there, but there isn't much really happening there. It's the dish itself, it's not coming together really. I feel like I did my bean salad as I wanted, so I'm very confident that it's gonna score me some points. Ooh. What is going on here? The plating definitely is just a little bit of a mess because now it has made something like an ocean there, which I don't understand. I used a four bean salad mix. Even though my cauliflower wasn't the correct texture, I'm very hopeful that the flavors are gonna save me. This was supposed to be sort of a version of a, a kind of a couscous. And normally you keep it sort of raw, but she cooked it, so that's why it's got that consistency. Cutting it off, it's either too wet, too salty. It's just... The textures are not working, really. I, I don't know what I'm eating. I'm really hoping that the judges love my legume pate because my chicken wasn't really cooked through all the way. And this one? So tell us about the dish. I basically made a white wine reduction for you guys on a bed of legume pate with just slightly sauteed vegetables. And I stuffed my chicken and wrapped it in bacon. My heart is racing. I hope all goes well. She reminds me of Casta Semenya. Mm. You know, as you are running the race, Casta's behind. Mm. Close to the finish line. Woo! I'm faster. This, guys, it's real business. Everything is communicating here. The mix of the beans and whatever she mixed through it just makes it a bit almost too heavy and you can almost make it a bit lighter with some herbs. The sauce is what saves it. I'm really scared and confident, confident about my plating, a little bit scared about the taste. Ooh, Tuli! My sister, what's going on here? I have made lamb chops in a bed of hummus that is made of chickpeas and butter beans. And then I have my corn and red kidney bean salad, drizzled with some chumichiri and feta cheese. I really wish they enjoy my plate and leaving them wanting more. I think from the look of it, she might have plated too much of the hummus. Lots of colors. It's a Christmas tree. <laughs> so, guys, I don't eat lamb, so you'll taste the lamb on my behalf. I don't know if there's a lemon or something sour. It just, you know, hit me. I think maybe your side, you got like the extra bit of lemon. Mm. Yes. I really like this hummus. And the lamb is not overcooked. Definitely, Ruben, I agree with you. The interpretation of hummus definitely works. Well, we've had a few agreements and disagreements, but we've got a decision to make. So let's do it. There's nothing I would do differently. I did my best on my plating and my food, so I'm happy. I presented my plate. I got my food on the plate in time through all the difficulties that I encountered. I am proud. I deserve to win. 
Ladies, thank you very much for coming out today and sharing your talents with us. You know, something like this uh, is never easy. It's not meant to be easy. It's meant to test you. I think you all handled it really well and you all deserve a warm round of applause. Well done. Richard, you tried to be very creative with all the elements that were there, but did they all come together? And I think that chicken also, it definitely let you down. Tuli, I didn't really like the amount of hummus that you had on the plate, but you know what saved you was the fact that it tasted amazing, so well done. Stevie, you kept your dish really simple and I quite liked it. However, I think the hero ingredient was a bit muted in your dish. Smongile, your dish was a mess. Ute, you are taking us to the ocean. I believe I felt them, my sister, but it's just a new one. But it was edible, but we don't know if it's going to save you. And then Andy's one. Your dish made sense. It made so much sense and you're my fighter. This was definitely not an easy decision. I think we really struggled with this one to come to some agreement, especially here with our guest judge. But, you know, that's what we're here for. We're, we're here to make those difficult decisions. It came down to two contestants. It really was a tough one for us. Under the cloche is the plate of the winning contestant. Arthur, will you do the honors, please? Of course. And the person who colored their plate is... Tuli! I was not expecting to be the winner, but at the end of the day, I am the winner. That plate is mine. I can't believe this. I'm so excited. This has always been my dream. I'm going to be the next Mzanzi cooking star. I just want to say to all of you, this is a great opportunity and I think you used it well. There's still a lot of opportunities to come. Tuli, as a winner of today's competition, you walk away with a hamper worth 5,000 Rand. Compliments from Ku. Well done and we'll see you in the next round. For the next round, I'm hoping that I can reduce my portion so I need to mind how I played and what I'm plating, so I need to look back on my portion size. Next time on Color Your Plate with Koo, the final five potential cooking stars fight for their spot in the next round. And joining the panel is guest judge TV personality and reality star Mpumi, a.k.a. Mrs. Mops. Just add color to your plate with Koo's range of fruit and vegetables. Eating better has never been easier. Cool. Uh, never feel good production.